shit is like amazing to me and shit. This is like a dream come true. I was calling him on the phone. He said, I'm about to hop on the plane and all that, but he's here. Freeway Ricky, what's going on, man? Man, man, just uh, uh, loving New York. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been showing me so much love out here, man. It's crazy. It's like I'm in L.A. all over again, yeah. man. But, but now we got all the high rises, and shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, what's going on with you, man? Man, uh, uh, I just been getting it in, man. Really trying to educate our kids on, on this trap that's been set by this machine, man. It's, it's, a, it's a cold the machine. The agenda that's set forth. Yeah, man. And, and for everybody to fail, basically. Man, man. Especially, man, when, when you look like me. You know, it's yeah. sad that... Uh, you know, I got I got a, a young lawyer that run with me every day, and he, he just you know met him we rapping. He be telling me, he said, man, it's cold when you black, 24 to, to 30 years old, man, and, and everybody look at you like you're a criminal. You know, he walks in, and if if he ain't got on his suit and he ain't got his briefcase in his book, they don't know he graduated. From, yeah, 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 yeah. From Loyola Law School in UCLA, and and and, and he just said it, it ain't cool the way they treat us, man. But, but let me ask you something, I don't want to cut you off, but I remember, wasn't the boys trying to fuck with you because you were educating the youth? Like, they were trying to re-arrest you, right? For yeah, educating, yeah, yeah, for yeah. talking to the kids. Yeah, well, what they say, you know, like, when I go out and do my speeches, uh -huh. you know, sometimes some convicted felons come out. They supposed to. You would hope they come out. Yeah, and then uh, I take pictures like today. We went down to, uh, what was the name of that school? The door. Door, 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 yeah. door for those school. Okay. I took pictures with everybody in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't asking you, you ever been convicted and, and, and all that. That don't matter to me, man. My goal, man, is, is to save my people, you know what I'm saying? Because I played such a big part in, in this cycle that's going on right now, man, with the rap game and what these dudes are talking about on rap. You know, and it's like crazy to me to know that I was one of the ones who started this wheel rolling, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and, and helped this machine get this thing started out of ignorance though you know what i'm saying i was uh -huh. ignorant when i did it and, and and not really understanding what was going on but if, if, if i'm not mistaken you were also used by the cia also absolutely well that's one you know that's part yeah. of the machine the yeah, CIA yeah, yeah is part of the machine the coin tell pros in the in the jagger hoovers and in, in a lot of the madness exactly let me ask you something you also rick ross the rapper you have a plight against him but how come you never went at Freeway from Philly? Because if I'm not mistaken, that's your name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what, Freeway carries it different, you know. Okay. For one thing, you know, uh, uh, the brother has a lot of respect for me. Okay. You know, he came out and, and told everybody, you know, what I'm saying how much he respects me and that he got his name, his name derived from me because he has so much love and respect for me. And the other guy, he he he, he, he lies and he want people to believe that he's me, you know. And that's a different thing, you know. Uh, uh, when, when you don't have your own identity. And then when you, when you look at the message that he's teaching our kids, me and him are teaching two different messages, you know. Uh, uh, he's working for the machine now, uh, and I'm working against the machine. You know, I'm trying to derail, I'm trying to take the wheels off the machine, and here you are, uh, every time I take a tire off, you put four on. So that's part of my fight with him, you know. Uh, if he came out and told everybody, no, I ain't really Rick Ross, my real name is William Roberts, and uh -huh. you know, I took dude's name, and. and I rap his lifestyle and I want to look like him and you know then I would respect him more if he did that but you know just to, to say and, and, and you know you, you never hear this guy mention that his name is William Roberts yeah you know it was crazy because I looked up through the glass and I'm like hold the fuck up that's Rick Ross like <laughs> that's Rick Ross that's Rick Ross let me ask you something the street dude the guy well the ex street guy what is it that stops you from sending the goons at this nigga to just say, you know what, man? You're going to stop using my fucking name. What, what stops you from doing it? Because I know sometimes... Well, you know what? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to keep these dudes... Because trust me, these dudes in L.A., they don't like what he's done. Okay. It's hard for me to, to get them the not to go get him. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, even when I lost uh, the lawsuit, I mean, like three of the shot callers, you know, from, from the hood... You know, came to me and was like, "Man, is the time yet?" Yeah. And I was like, "No, oh, man, that ain't what I'm. I don't want that. You know, I don't want nobody to do nothing to him. They want to put a no-fly zone on him, uh, saying that he can't come to L.A. I mean, you know, even Suge Knight came out. You know, yeah. Suge had stepped to me uh, one day and was like, "Man, uh, you know, let me take care of this." Yeah. You know, uh, and I'm like, "No, man, it ain't about that. We've been fighting and killing each other." Let me ask you something though. How could you lose a lawsuit where? It's definitely your name, definitely your beard, definitely like what what's wrong with the judge what 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 how how could you possibly lose? The judge used to work for Universal. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. On ForbesDVD.com. Wow. See that shit? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I used to work for Universal. And then, uh, I believe they put, they put a cold stump because Universal has one law firm that they use all the time. Uh -huh. This law firm has been their law firm for 20 years. Well, in this particular case, they didn't let that law firm represent them. They went out and hired another law firm because had they hired that law firm, then the judge would have had to disclose that she used to work for that law firm that Universal has that represents them right now. So they hired another law firm where the head lawyer also worked at the old law firm and also worked with, with my judge. So uh, we're appealing it on Yes, that's, a, that's definitely a great case. We think it was a conflict of interest. We think yeah. that they, they, I mean, they had nine lawyers and none of them, uh, you know, stood up and said, hey, you know, uh, the judge used to work for uh, Tungling Moore, I think is the name yeah. of the company. And none of them stood up and told us that. So my, my next question to you before we go, if 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 he was to change his whole premise of not rapping about hustling, not selling about drugs, if he started to rap about educating the kids and telling them something different, would you have an issue and problem with him? Man, right, right now, you know, I, uh, I'm gonna have to take my hat off of him because he he took a, a note out of my book a couple months ago. I read in the paper that he went to his old high school and gave out computers and, and okay. I know that he did that because of the kind of pressure I've been putting on him that, that this is what you got to do you know yeah. because you can't keep on taking from from somebody and, and not these give kids, back yeah. these, these kids gonna get hip you know all these cats out here taking 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 they ain't coming back to the hood you know they taking their money and, and they giving it to the United Way and let the United Way invest their money uh, uh, give to the nonprofits that they want to and, and, and I mean because as much money as, as, as these cats make man our hoods shouldn't need basketballs and football centers shoes and, and yeah. centers and, and stuff like that there. So, you know, I got to give him that, that he did go back to his old school, and, and, and I'm glad to see that, that, that he did that. And uh, if he changed, I can embrace him. I mean, I don't have no ill feelings with him right now. You know, I ain't mad at him. I don't want nothing to happen to the cat, yeah. you know, uh, 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 honest. But at the same time, I can't respect the way he's carrying it right now. Yeah, yeah. Also, um... Did y'all ever speak? Did you ever see him? Did you ever come face to face with him and say? We did. We did. At a deposition, we came face to face. I spoke to him. He didn't speak back. Um, like a like like a bitch. Like how you talk to a girl and they yeah, keep walking. Yeah. I stuck, wow. I stuck my hand out to shake his hand and tell him, you know, ain't no hard feeling on my end. You know, and uh, he rolled his eyes at me. And, <laughs> he turned and walked away. Wow. Know? Um. Also. What I wanted to ask you, I, I heard it, it's many interviews, but you also said he was a snitch CEO. Man, I got a call from <laughs> from some cats that was in jail when he was there. Uh huh. And they said like if they were shooting dice and stuff like that, he would be hiding behind the, the thing. Uh, the bill, and I and I know because I've been to prison. I see yeah, yeah, CEOs, yeah. you know, who who they sweat every little petty thing. If you got extra soup in your locker, you know, uh -huh. they take it. Contraband. You know, contraband. Yeah. So this guy was telling me that this guy was that kind of, that type of CEO, you know, he would sneak around and listen to their conversations and he would run to the uh, to the sergeant because he didn't really have any power. Yeah. You know, he couldn't come in and take your soups. He had to go get the sergeant and bring the sergeant and the sergeant would do that. Wow. But uh, the guy said that uh, that's the kind of dude he was. As a matter of fact, uh, me and this guy, we working on a project together. So. Wow. Okay. To, to, to bring some of this kind of stuff to light. So, so you look out for that. So that's what it is. We in the building with the real, original, Freeway Ricky Ross. Um, I'm glad you walked through that door. I don't know what the hell made you walk. This is divine intervention. Off Maybe it's the heat. Right? Off the hook TV <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Happen. Off the hook TV made that happen. Um, I, I actually did something with him come before. come and get some of this air. Y'all yeah, got this, it. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's feeling nice up in here. <laughs> I can feel it from the streets. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. So hopefully, um, you know, New York is showing you love. Um. Uh, man, it's been so cool. And uh, we, we got a couple more things uh, going on here in New York. You know, I'm here with my man, Coley, from Get Money Magazine. Okay. He brought me out, you know. Uh, shout, out to, yeah. shout out to Coley. And uh, Coley, tell him something. Where the other places are going to be going? We got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. And uh, Friday, we're going to be uh, uh, Hall of Fame Records. Okay, Coliseum. Queens, Queens Coliseum. Coliseum. That's yep. gonna be from four to seven p.m. Shout out to Jewels. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Jewels. That's what's up. Also, yeah. uh, on Saturday we're gonna be at Catfish Cafe. Okay. Okay. Guy, Guy, Gore, and on four seven half. Yeah. Four, four seven half. Um, tonight is uh, Minnie Negra and Wendy. Okay. Uh, I That's can't gonna be down the hall. Birthday. 
Yeah. So they got you out here working. Yeah, yeah. I'm out here working, promoting, yeah. you know, trying to, trying yeah. to, you know, because right now, man, our people in, our people in trouble. You know? Make sure y'all log into Freeway Enterprise too. Dot com. Follow okay. me on Twitter, yeah, yeah. Freeway Ricky. Um, <clears throat> And and you know we just getting in, man. I'm trying. a member of Freeway Enterprise. Too. I appreciate. It. I get I, the, I can we show you growing. the emails right now that come to me. Right. And now. we growing. You know what yep. I'm saying? We growing. Uh, uh, we, we we gonna get there. You know we just gotta yeah. keep pushing. You gotta know, keep it, grinding. It don't look good right now, but at the same time, you know we we gonna turn it. I got a documentary coming out. It's gonna blow. This Is Jamie Foxx really supposed to grow? Uh, we, we talking about it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a few people. I haven't made up my mind yet okay. who I want to do the role. But the documentary is, is going to be dope. Y'all look for that. Uh, uh, we're exploring the whole crack industry. Uh, man, it's just going to be dope. But you know these niggas really don't sell crack. Some of these niggas really ain't in the street. Yeah, it's a Like, lot because of, there's no way you could be a millionaire and be in the street. No. Nah. Like, you know, but I don't, like, let me ask you something. What is it about the people that like to be fooled? Why do the people like to be fooled? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the ones that's really being fooled are the ones that feel hopeless okay you know they feel like they don't have anything else going on so they looking for some type of hope you know like if you're in the ocean and, 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 a, and a, a straw float by you you, you think grab it, it yeah you can, you can think swim back to safety over exactly yeah. okay. so so that's the state that our people are in you know they've been feeding them so much garbage that they don't understand anything but that so you know it takes people like us now to start waking them up and, and, and start showing them you know what's, what's real and what's not real so what about the people that might be saying, oh, Freeway, he just broke, he's fucked up, he just need money, that's why he's doing lawsuits, real niggas don't sue, blah, blah. What do you want to say to them? Well, you know what? The first thing is even when I have money, I sue people. I have real estate deals that went south and okay. I sue <laughs> yeah, You know yeah, what I'm supposed... saying? You're not going to, you know, you ain't going to take that street. Yeah. Uh, 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 when you, oh, you're doing that for your money. So uh, uh, I am broke right now, mm -hmm. cash-wise.